The city of Johnstown, Pennsylvania is home to a small, tight-knit Lebanese-American community whose history dates back to the late 1800s. Although I am only part Lebanese, my Lebanese family history runs deep through the small Rust Belt city of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. My maternal great-grandfather, George Jabour, known later as Jaber, immigrated from Lebanon in 1901 with his wife Helen. I don't know the specifics of my great-grandparents' journey. They left no written history, and nobody ever recorded anything formal about them. I can only draw conclusions about their journey based on the experiences of other Lebanese immigrants of the time period. They probably left their village of Amun for economic opportunity in the United States. At the time, Lebanon was not an independent country, but was part of the greater Syria province of the Ottoman Empire an area that was experiencing economic hardship due to environmental and political factors. Helen and George settled in a growing factory town in western Pennsylvania called Connemont, which was adjacent to the bustling industrial city of Johnstown, known for its steel production and the devastating flood of 1889. While I have no idea what George and Helen would have done for work in their native Lebanese village, in Pennsylvania, George opened a small dry goods store, much like other Lebanese immigrants at the time. Helen stayed at home to care for the growing family, which would eventually include eight children, one of which was my grandfather, William Jaber. I am fascinated by this small colony of Lebanese and Syrian immigrants that my great-grandparents were a part of, with mostly people from their same village. It was quite common nationwide for Lebanese and Syrian immigrants to congregate together based on village of origin. In addition to owning and operating numerous retail stores throughout the town, they also pooled their resources to establish St. Mary's Syrian Orthodox Church in 1904, which is still a thriving congregation. Another intriguing aspect of the small Lebanese American community is that at some point after Prohibition ended, or maybe during, Many of the immigrants in and around Johnstown began operating taverns, including eventually my family's own Jaber's Astry Tavern, a tradition that continued through the 1990s, when the city began losing much of its industry and subsequently its population. Between the church, the bars, restaurants, and stores that were built by my great-grandparents and their Lebanese immigrant cohort, their legacy can still be felt in Johnstown, much like in many other American cities where Lebanese and Syrian immigrants settled more than a century ago.